I went up to the mountains last week and found a perfect little campsite in a dispersed area right on the creek with some amazing fishing. I uh, did a little euro nymphing and caught some beautiful wild brown trout. Uh, this is probably my favorite kind of fishing is this small stream fishing and that night after I made dinner I went down to the creek to refill my water bottle and I noticed that there was a lot of bugs starting to hatch and there was a golden stone fly that had just emerged but I actually saw a golden stone fly that was in the process of emerging out of its shuck which I had never seen before. Um, so I decided to, to get my camera out and film the entire process and uh, one of the things I'd noticed during the day was that there was a lot of ants that were coming out um, more and more and more during the day and so you'll see some of those ants kind of running around and, and looking for uh, any of these shucks and also sometimes hauling away um, just the whole bug as it was in the process of emerging but um, this guy got a couple of legs free uh, started to, to feel a little bit more lively after he got those legs out started to kind of move them around and uh, and push out a little bit more to to get some wiggle room there but I was sure that he was uh, not gonna make it I didn't know how long these usually take to emerge but I had seen that other one running by so quickly that um, I thought there might be something wrong with this guy so I was always looking around to see if the ants that kept getting close might try and take a bite out of him too and you can see the water shining off of the shuck so uh, he must have just crawled up on this rock right before I got down there to to fill up my water bottle but like I said there was several other um, bugs that were emerging and and coming out of the water at this time and it was a it was a pretty warm day but this guy just kept on trucking and as soon as he got his legs out uh, he stretched out a little bit um, I think he started feeling a little bit stronger and uh, and next he was moving towards his his antenna and I could tell as soon as the antenna popped out that he got a little bit more lively um, started really feeling feeling good and, uh, and just kind of moving and shaking and he was like all right now now it's time to make some moves. Uh, I think I got my bearings, um, and uh, he was he was ready to get out and, and move on. So um, his legs broke free, his antenna broke free, and then he put the final push and uh, and broke out all together. And I was actually really worried when I when I saw him break out, having never seen these stoneflies emerge. I saw his wings, and um, they're kind of all wet and kind of wrinkled up. And so I thought. Uh, he might be deformed. Um, I didn't even realize that the first uh, little stonefly on the rock that was running away when I first walked up to the boulder also had um, these really wet, uh, kind of deformed looking wings. But um, I just thought that their their wings kind of came out uh, more or less formed and just needed to, to dry. So um, I thought when, when this guy came out, I was like, oh man, he's... Uh, He's deformed in some, in some way and um, it's not going to make it because he's not going to be able to fly but um, who knows maybe he'll be able to at least crawl up into the brush and and uh, and get his thing done there and, and may, maybe make some more little stone flies but about this time they were crawling up my, my shorts and I still hadn't gotten my water yet so I had to take a break and, and get the bugs out of my shorts and refill my water so I, uh, I did that went back up to camp real quick when I came back down I, I saw that he had crawled off the boulder and uh, had just gotten to the ground um, so I reached down to scoop him up to get a, a closer look and just get kind of a 360 degree um, view of him and uh, as soon as he was on my hand he wasn't too uh, too concerned with with moving around I guess um, maybe since he was away from the from the ants um, and it's also really cool there was a bunch of bats that were flying around right over the top of the water too so um, any of these bugs that uh, that did manage to get out to emerge to dry their wings off and and then take off for the trees had to contend with not all of the ants on the ground but the bats in the air as well um, but he uh, he managed to walk up my arm for a little bit and kind of post up on my shoulder and then his wings did unfurl and as they started to unfurl he really spread them out 
um, tried to dry him, was moving him around, and it was kind of awkward. He was on the back side of my sleeve. I kept trying to pull it over, but now for the first time I started to see, oh, okay, there's the typical flat um, stone fly uh, wings there. So I was like, okay, he's, he's going to be okay. He's going to he's gonna make it. This is just all part of the process. Um, now he looks more like a, a fully formed stone fly. So I was kind of figuring uh, he was going to take off in any minute but um kind of didn't he just sat there and and let the let the wings keep drying exercise them every now and then um stretch one wing out to the left and one wing out to the right and just um i don't know maybe uh maybe catching his breath maybe just getting stronger before uh before he was ready to take off the flight but this whole time there's all these little other stone flies and um there was some other kind of mayfly that, that was hatching too. These are only about half the size of the golden, um, but it was still just alive. There was so much activity um, going on. And, and during the day, I hadn't seen any shucks. I hadn't seen any um, signs that these, uh, that these big bugs were living in this small little, little mountain creek. But you can see the, the other stone flies were just running muck. This was only the second stonefly I saw. I saw that other one emerge right when I walked up that ran away. Um, but this is only the second stonefly I saw all night. But these other smaller um, black stoneflies were, were just running around everywhere, um, emerging at a, a much larger rate um, than, this, uh, than this golden was. But um, cool to see how much activity was going on. Uh, so once he, he kind of got his bearings, I was like, all right, time to Time to move on here. I'm gonna put him way up high in a tree, away from the ground, away from the ants, um, and away from the from the bats. But uh, I think he kind of sensed that he was in a good spot. Didn't really want to didn't really want to move on as much as I tried to push him off and and get him on that tree branch. I didn't want to pick him up again because I didn't want to break a, a limb or or a wing or anything. But um, but he was in in uh, no rush to, to get away and even after he brushed up against the leaf I uh, thought he would hop off but he, he ran around and then ran up uh, all over <laughs> my shoulder and um, and actually ran up behind my my hood on my shirt and I kind of shook him off and, and he fell down to the ground so uh, again the ground was covered with ants um, so I reached down and saw him running down there and scooped him up so he wouldn't get eaten by ants. You could see some of the ants that were running by. Just anything down there um, was getting chomped on, and including my feet and my legs. I was getting kind of run, run amuck with the ants too. Um, but managed to just scoop him up, and he ran around and uh, found refuge uh, inside of my cuff. After a minute, though, I was like, "All right, we gotta we gotta get moving on here." So I found a good. A good dead tree that was way up off of the ground and camouflage looked good and um, like I said there weren't any ants crawling over it and I um, thought it was out of the way of the bats so um, I picked a nice branch to, to try and coax him out on. This time he was a little bit more um, open to, to getting out and kind of scurried up for a little bit but then just found a spot and then just stopped solid. Um, so I guess they they know run for a little while and then and then hold tight because once he found uh, his home spot on the branch there he was he was uh, pretty still um, and just kind of hung out there and I thought he would fly off but he didn't he hung out for the rest of the time so uh, here you can see this is the tree next to it but the ants were just everywhere they, they came out in mass and they weren't out during the day like this but at night uh, they were just coming out and taking every single bug. I saw them haul off a whole millipede, um, as well as some of the stone flies that were that were fluttering around. But this guy made it up and out. And, uh, and when I left him later on that night, after I came back to get some more water and brush my teeth, he was still hanging out and looking pretty good and pretty camouflaged. So um, yeah, so hopefully he got out there to, uh, to breed, and make some more little stone flies for next time.